Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Monday Night Raw, and we are getting straight to the action. No breaks, no commercials, we're just getting straight to it. Austin Theory looking to prove himself tonight. Going one on one with Tommaso Ciampa. Of course, Theory has a one way ticket to the biggest two night event of the summer at SummerSlam in Cleveland, Ohio. Where he will have the biggest match of his career taking on Seth. Frickin' Rollins for the United States Championship. Theory's been seen as a pushover, but tonight he's looking to prove that he can hang with the Sharks. And if you want to compare this man right here to a shark, Safe bet would be a hammerhead. I was born alone in the dark in the cold. We haven't seen Champ on one on one action in quite some time. He's grown quite the disdain for Austin Theory. Of course, he was also part of that fatal four-way in which Austin Theory went on to win to get a shot at the United States Championship at SummerSlam. Now Champa immediately getting thrown into the corner here, and Theory stomping away. Already Theory opening up with some aggression. Tonight isn't about just beating Tommaso Ciampa, it's about sending a message to Seth Rollins. We know for a fact has his eyes on this match, considering he has had his eyes on Austin Theory for quite some time here. Now look at this, a cover here and Ciampa kicks out. Austin Theory has been a thorn in the side of the Mafia here on Raw for months and oh my goodness, what a knee right to the bridge of the nose there. I don't know how Theory's nose wasn't broken there. And also, I would just like to point out, if you're Austin Theory, you gotta get your head on straight heading towards SummerSlam. His friendship, his seemingly building friendship with Dakota Kai, which has been definitely noted it could cause a distraction. The kid needs to be at 100% both mentally and physically come SummerSlam because that might just be the biggest match of his career. And one of many to come here. And look at this, another cover and Champa kicks out of one. Some people might forget Tommaso Champa performed in the main event of the first episode of Monday Night Raw and here in universe mode and oh my god Champa off the top rope but Theory standing up almost based off of instinct and uh oh this ain't gonna end well oh my goodness Theory he's lucky he's young getting up based off of solely instinct but Champa gonna teach him a lesson just sm hitting him with smacks and a knee right across the jaw and that time Theory stays down Now Theory sent right into the post and that might have opened him up. Theory already wearing the wounds of battle in this one. Seven. Referee. At a count of eight now. Austin Theory's in serious danger of being counted out here. 
And can he beat the count? He does. Just barely beats the count back in. Now Theory off the ropes. Theory might not know where he is. And a discus clothesline by Tommaso Ciampa. Of course, as I previously mentioned, Dakota Kai. Dakota Kai was the winner of last week's main event. Where she won a fatal four-way to become the number one contender for Becky Lynch's World Women's Championship. Or the Women's World Championship, I should say. Now, Theory. Of course, Theory's feelings towards Dakota Kai, they're questionable. No, one really sh no one's really sure what they are. As far as I know, they're just friends, but... Whatever the case may be, no matter what these two feel about each other, they gotta get... Both of them have to get their heads on straight come SummerSlam. And right now, look at this. Tommaso Ciampa. The very much experienced veteran here. Taking advantage. And look at this hanging up theory. I will say, right now Theory looks very focused, very much in fight mode right now. But right now, he's quickly going from, oh my goodness, what a backbreaker. He's going from fight mode to survival right now. And as we all know about Tommaso Ciampa, no one will survive. When you experience Tommaso Ciampa, but however, Theory might have just cracked the case on that scenario. Now looking this, maybe can think an ATL here. No. Champa out of the way. Catches Theory with a right hand and Theory hanging on. Champa gets caught by a forearm and now look at this. Champa meeting Theory. What an axe handle there by Austin Theory. No, wait a second. What is going on here? Suicide dive by Austin Theory. How often do you see that? And Theory is bumped up after that. And can you blame him? How often do you see Austin Theory do a suicide dive? You don't see that very often. And it looked like maybe Theory was thinking about going to the top rope, but he thought better of it. But Champa, Champa taking advantage of it. And now look at this. Perhaps another air raid crash, and this time in the center of the ring. And Champa not even going for a cover, just stomping away at Theory. Like I said, Champa has a disdain for Austin Theory. No, wait a second. Look at this roll up here by Theory. Is it enough? No, almost had him. No, wait a second. Champa catching him here. Oh my goodness. That's got to be the end of it. Theory's done and all. Kick out at two. Theory indeed is in fight mode right now. And a forearm for good measure. But Champa not going to take that one lying down. Plants Theory with a DDT. What a match we are witnessing right now. And Champa up to the top. We don't see this very often and that's why. Theory out of the way and connects with a bicycle kick that connected right on the bridge of the nose. And I think that busted Champa open. And now Theory showing more aggression. This is the side that we need to see more of Theory heading into his match against Seth Rollins. But then again, Seth Rollins. He's no ordinary opponent. And a suplex. Or a superplex, I should say, from the top rope. Theory. Pulling out all the stops here. Digging deep into his arsenal. And you'd think. Theory trying to prove to everyone that he can hang with the sharks in the deep water. Because this match is entering the third gear here. Entering deep waters. ATL. That's got to be it. 
Champa down for the count, and no, Champa kicks out. Champa ain't no slouch, as Austin Theory is finding out firsthand. And a forearm. But Champa not letting up Theory off the ropes, and what a belly to belly suplex. And a drop kick for good measure. Theory might be in some trouble here. What a match to kick off Monday Night Raw. This is just the first match in, in theory planting Champa. Now wait a second, Theory with a roll up here. Catching Champa by surprise here. Is it enough? There's two and there's three. Oh my god. Austin Theory steals one from out of nowhere. Seth Rollins might have to take note because that is how quick Austin Theory can win a match. That was one hell of a match to kick off Monday Night Raw. You know, wait a second. Needless to say, this woman is not very fond of Austin Theory. This is Becky Lynch. Lynch must be out here to address Dakota Kai because there's nothing promoting Becky Lynch coming out here. Clearly, the man is in the building. Of course, Dakota Kai catching everyone by surprise with her victory in the Fatal 4-Way last week. You gotta wonder if that rubbed Becky Lynch the wrong way. Dakota Kai has gone rogue. She no longer associates herself with the Mafia. Not only that, but she won last week. So you gotta think... The headspace of Becky Lynch with this woman, probably not the greatest, which makes me wonder why she's confronting her at this very moment. And oh, wait a second. Oh, what the hell? A cheap shot by Becky Lynch. Well, I think this answers the question that I was asking earlier. This is this was a setup. This was a plan. This was a planned assault by Becky Lynch on Dakota Kai, and she is laying into her right now. This is absolutely uncalled for. Say what you will about Dakota Kai not being prepared for it. But this is, oh my god. Kai sent right into the steps. No, Becky, oh my god. Two times with the steps. And now, wait a second. And now, oh my god, Becky, no. Dakota Kai might be hurt. Kai can't even stand up properly. Someone get some medical assistance down here. Dakota's hurt. 
What the hell was that all about? That was absolutely uncalled for. What the hell's gotten into Becky Lynch? Well, I think Brandon Collins might be on to something. Because it seems like it is pretty clear as to where Phoenix Nitro's head is right now. When it comes to Aaliyah, but... This is not Aaliyah. This is Natalia. We've seen Natalia a fair share of times on Raw. But she hasn't exactly been on the winning side of things as of late. She's looking to get back into winning ways here. She can put away Aaliyah here tonight on Raw. But if there's one thing Aaliyah proved during her debut is that she is much more tougher than she appears. Well, I think it's pretty safe to assume that Aaliyah is officially part of the Vibe crew. I think the t-shirt, the she's got the t-shirt the of verification from the looks of it. I must say, she is rocking that shirt. Vibe crew official is Aaliyah. Now you gotta wonder, just whose idea was this exactly? Was it Brandon Collins or was it Phoenix Nitro? Because clearly it seems that Aaliyah, you know, there's that, that damn light again. Someone's gotta get to the bottom of that. Whatever this is, it's been going on for weeks. I think Collins, Collins seemed like he was maybe going to say something about it backstage, but that's more just a theory more than anything. Right now, I guess we have to move on here, but right now, Natalia putting in the work on Aaliyah and a kick out by Aaliyah and I'm just I'm just getting word from backstage that Dakota Kai is receiving medical attention as we speak in the back in a close two count there from that German suplex. Hoping for the best for Dakota cuz if she suffered a serious injury that might not bode well for her chances at SummerSlam considering SummerSlam is just 2 weeks away from now. You cannot afford an injury this time of the year, especially right now. But anyways, back to this match, Natalia planting Aaliyah. But back to what I was saying earlier, whose idea was it to officially, I guess, induct Aaliyah 
into the vibe crew and look at this the day was pressed by Aaliyah and you gotta wonder was it was it Brandon Collins or was it Phoenix Nitro because Aaliyah seems to be a lot more closer with Phoenix Nitro than she is with Brandon Collins who has yet to appear in the actual ring and another flurry of fists being rained down by Aaliyah now look at this Heading to the top rope just like she did in her debut. Connects with a splash once again. That is impressive height by Aaliyah. And a cover here and a kick out by Natalia. Aaliyah, very impressive in her debut. So was Phoenix Nitro. Who of course came up short. And oh, Natalia. Barely able to block that suicide dive attempt. Aaliyah fell hard. Right onto the floor. Almost face planted. But look at this. Making up for it. That was what a hell of a block by Natalia. And yeah, look at this. Aaliyah heading up to the top rope once again. This time. Sitting her down with a Bronco Buster. And now a cover here. Is this enough? Is Natalia done? And no, she's not. Of course, Aaliyah. Also been on the receiving end of some, what appears to be, stalking. From Alexa Bliss. That hasn't exactly been acknowledged either. There, there hasn't been... Let me ask you this. Genuine question. With all the weird stuff that's been going on, all the weird stuff that's been following the Vibe crew, how come none of that has been acknowledged so far? Nobody. Not Aaliyah, not Brandon Collins, not Phoenix Nitro, nobody. When is somebody going to start questioning these red lights? And I don't know. Try to... Sorry, I went on a little bit of a rant there. I should be focusing on this match and Aaliyah jumping knee right into the corner with authority. And with style too. Cranking on the legs of Natalia is Aaliyah. Of course, Phoenix Nitro was impressive in his debut as well. Took Drew Gulak to the absolute limit last week, but he just came up short. But he put on one hell of a performance, as Aaliyah is doing right now. Natalia going after the back, perhaps softening up the back of Aaliyah for the sharpshooter here. And wait a second, what in the hell is this? Natalia with a top rope axe handle. You don't see that very often. Look at this. Looking right at the commentary team. As if to say, yeah, I just did that. I've never seen Natalia do something like that. She is not a high flyer in, by any means. Aaliyah. Heads back into the ring. And now look at this. That might have been a mistake. Natalia, after softening up the back, now looking to take advantage Aaliyah is in trouble. Can she fight out of this? Natalia has it locked in good. Oh, but wait a second. Aaliyah able to flip out of it perhaps and she gets out of it. Aaliyah is proving with each match that she has, she is extremely tough. Now, wait a second. What the hell is this? Oh, look at this. Aaliyah. With a submission of her own. I don't even know what the hell you'd call that. Some sort of... Octopus. I don't even know what to call it. The squid lock. Yeah, there you go. Now, look, look at this. Natalia sending, sending Aaliyah into the corner. But Aaliyah getting the boots up. Now, look at this. We had one match. We already had one match ended to roll up. We have another. And similarly, oh, and close. Natalia realized what just 
Well, what almost just happened. And Aaliyah, this time Aaliyah was ready for it. What a match these two are putting on. And look at that DDT. Jumping DDT. And is that enough? Natalia, thanks for coming. What a performance by Aaliyah. Getting the job done. You gotta think. If she wasn't a part of the Vibe Crew now, she definitely is now. With a performance like that. How long till we see Aaliyah in title contention, perhaps? Who knows? Oh, wait a second. What the hell is going on? As huge of an announcement that is, you, your heart's got to go out for Dakota because that is an extremely unfortunate injury. I'm not exactly sure what Alba Fire's intentions are with Becky Lynch, but right now we gotta we gotta shift gear, we gotta shift gears here to the husband of Becky Lynch, Seth freaking Rollins. Of course, we saw Seth Rollins' SummerSlam opponent, Austin Theory, in action earlier tonight. And we saw him pick up a huge upset win over Champa. But now, Seth Rollins has a phenomenal task ahead of him. AJ Styles has been on the hottest streak that he has been on in quite some time. He's been picking up wins left and right here on Raw. And now tonight is a big match that if he could win, may or may not potentially put him in title contention. For a future shot at the United States Championship, perhaps. And what a matchup we've got here. This is going to be a barn burner, folks. And this ain't even the main event. And Styles. Opening things up with a knee right to the bread basket. Now, of course, here on this channel, AJ Styles, Seth Rollins, these two are no strangers to each other. Oh my God, what a move. Face planting Rollins right in the center of the ring. These two are no strangers to one another. The history between these two 
is incredible. These two have main evented WrestleMania for the WWE Championship. In RFW, these two faced off for the inaugural RFW World Championship and now they do battle once again in a discus forearm on the part of Seth Rollins and it follows it up with a knee drop. That caught Styles flush and now Rollins raining down right hands. And you gotta wonder, if you're Seth Rollins, do you worry about the safety? Oh, wait a second. Crossface applied here by the phenomenal one. Is it enough? It's too early. But you, like I was saying, you gotta think. If you're Seth Rollins, do you or do you not worry about your wife's safety in the back? Because from the sounds of it, it sounded like Alba Fire was on a mission. She's having Austin Theory, of all people, accompany her. Who would have saw that coming just a couple months ago? No, wait a second. A burning hammer. Oh my god. As the crowd serenades the United States champion and all oh, barely kicking out. Does Seth Rollins. And Rollins landed almost on the top of his head. And that time, landed on his head again. And if you're Austin Theory, you gotta love this. Rollins almost being softened up here by AJ Styles. Is Rollins going to be able to enter SummerSlam at 100%? We already saw Theory in action tonight. We saw him and Champa put on an absolute war. And I imagine these two are going, well, they're already doing pretty much the same thing here, trading shot for shot here. And Styles Brain Buster. Once again, Rollins landing on his head. That was nasty. Rollins answering right back, and look at this. Thinking perhaps a stalling Falcon Arrow there, but Styles able to counter with a chop block. Styles giving the United States champion a run for his money right now. But Rollins quickly putting a stop to it. You can say the Mafia. The Mafia feels like it's been kind of falling apart as of late. We haven't seen the Viking Raiders as of late. Dakota Kai has... No, elbow drop off the top rope. Dakota Kai. Wait a second. And the kick out at one by the Phenomenal One. We haven't seen the Viking Raiders in a while. Dakota Kai disassociating herself from the group. And now Alba Fire. Looking to take on Becky Lynch as Dakota Kai's replacement at SummerSlam. And look at this. Rollins over the top rope. You got to think a lot of that might be at the fault of Becky Lynch, but Seth Rollins is equally just as to blame here for his mishandling of the Viking Raiders, who have not been seen in quite some time in an Inseguri. But I honestly think Seth Rollins has been so absorbed by this Austin Theory problem as of late. He's kind of forgotten about everything else and a kick out by the leader of the Mafia, if he still even is the leader at this point. And right hand there by AJ Styles. And Seth Rollins with a sling blade. These two going back and forth. This match has been even since the bells rung. Now Rollins has Styles in the corner, burying his knee right into the jaw of the phenomenal one. Of course, we saw AJ Styles take an L against Roman Reigns. And oh, wait, wait a second. What the hell is this? A Styles clash by Seth Rollins. What the hell? And it almost, oh my God. Seth Rollins almost just beat AJ Styles with the Styles clash. 
Rollins digging deep into his playbook. And now the cockiness of Rollins starting to show and he paid for it there. Of course, as I was going to say, AJ Styles took an L against Roman Reigns at Money in the Bank. But that was a W flip there. Styles saying, anything you can do, I can do better. Now, oh my God. Rollins sending Styles into the steps. This is turning into an all-out brawl here. Neither of these two willing to lay down for the other. Oh my God. Sent right into the edge of the steps. We already had one injury tonight. And listen to this place. This place is serenading. The United States champion. Definitely very much in the favor of of Seth Rollins. And look at this. Oh my God. Styles. It was a hell of a move and a kick right to the chest. And say what you will about Styles. He has had the champ on the ropes for pretty much this whole match. He's been getting the champ a run for his money, but Rollins has been staying in this match. Finding ways to match himself up with AJ Styles. And like I said, the history between these two is unlike anything other. Now what the hell is Rollins thinking here? Phoenix splash and it connects right on the money and Styles too close to the ropes. Now a frustrated Seth Rollins. Can you imagine the damage to the psyche a loss would do here for Seth Rollins? Knowing full well that Austin Theory won his match earlier tonight. The damage to the ego and the psyche of the visionary will be unlike anything other. And Styles out of the way and drop kicks Rollins into the corner. Now look at this. Now Styles looking for his own Styles Clash. This time, that is how you hit it, Seth. And now, oh my god, Rollins at two and a half, barely. Styles almost dumbfounded by that. I think Styles thought he had this match won. And then Rollins with a forearm. Now, wait a second. Going from behind here. Plants AJ Styles. This match has been delivering on its promise to be a barn burner. Now, look at this. A stunner over the top. Of course, this is the night of Mother's Day. And now look at this. Once again, another top rope. Elbow drop there, and now Rollins looking to finish this. Curb stomp to Styles. Can Rollins get the win on Mother's Day? For Becky Lynch, is it enough? And yes. Seth Rollins putting away AJ Styles, but one hell of a match. And oh, wait a second. Wait a second. Well, look out. Look out. We've got a fight backstage. It is breaking down. Alba Fire. Becky Lynch. Going at it. It is official. And a headbutt. I'm not really sure if I like the the whole 
the greatest thing going thing, but nonetheless, it is main event time. And what an absolutely chaotic night it has been. And it is only going to get more chaotic because it is our main event. The Raw Tag Team titles are on the line. Did you see the moves on Big E? That man, I swear, that man never stops having hips. He just has hips for days. Of course, this match was made official, and the New Day called the Usos out last week, asking them to defend the Raw Tag Team titles, and the Usos accepted on behalf of the Tribal Chief, and of course, the Tribal Chief, he is watching this match tonight. So you gotta think. The Usos are looking to impress tonight. We were talking about in the Seth Rollins AJ Styles match that those two were no strangers to each other. Well, these two, the New Day and the Usos, you might as well be combining peanut butter and jelly. That is how good of a combo these two teams are. Mutual amount of professional respect between these two teams. But tonight, that gets thrown out the window because the bloodline is here to handle bloodline business. There's a big fight feel in this arena right now. The Raw tag team titles on the line. We saw the we saw the SmackDown tag team titles change hands last week on SmackDown. When Los Lotharios knocked off the former SmackDown tag team champions, the Street Profits. Will we see a similar fate for the Usos tonight? And Big E starting things off with some heavy strikes and some shows of strength and powering down. I believe that's Jimmy Uso. It is Jimmy Uso. And now Jimmy getting sent right into the corner there and able to counter Big E. Now look at the strength of Jimmy Uso. And oh, Big E. Not going to take that disrespect from the Usos. Whipping Jimmy into the corner. Now tag in comes Xavier. And what a counter there by Jimmy. Roman Reigns watching this matchup very closely. Of course, Roman Reigns has a date that was made official last week. Roman Reigns has a date with Dolph Ziggler at SummerSlam. 
Dolph Ziggler's career. Oh my goodness. Xavier Woods burying the knees into the midsection of Jay. Dolph Ziggler's career is on the line at SummerSlam when he goes up against Roman Reigns. I'm not sure what Dolph was thinking. But Dolph looking to give it everything that he's got. And right now the New Day doing the same thing here. And what a springboard chop block. I don't even know if that was a springboard. I think Woods just went off the ropes. Regardless, it didn't have that much effect. Oh, Jimmy there for the looks of it. Now look at this cover here by Jimmy. Is it enough? And no, Woods. Gets the shoulder up. What a night it has been here so far. And oh, look at this. Xavier was getting tag teamed there. And now Big E, not a fan of what he's seeing right now. Very much upset. And now look at this. Big E getting thrown over the top. Jimmy taking control of this match. Woods gets hit with a neckbreaker. Now he's in trouble. Woods might be in some trouble now. Once you fight off one Uso, the other one's right there. Reigns got hit with a super kick by Ziggler last week, and you gotta think. Maybe Reigns has been in a bad mood all week. You gotta imagine the Tribal Chief, he's not been in the greatest of moods as of late since getting hit with that super kick from out of nowhere. You get... And I'm almost certain that a victory here by the Usos will maybe put a smile on the face of the Tribal Chief. And wait a second. What does Jimmy think? Or my my bad. What is what is Jay thinking here? Now look, there's a suicide dive, and that sends Biggie right into the barricade. These two teams giving it all they got. Early on in this matchup, and now Big E off the ropes, taking out Jay. Awkward landing from that leg drop, and E gets sent down with a spine buster. And now Jimmy Uso continuing to show his power with a Samoan drop to the big man. Cover here, and Woods is there for the breakup. But now Jay, and now things are starting to break down. Now once again, Big E getting sent down, and I think Big E's had enough. Hammering away on Jimmy Uso. Jimmy sent into the corner. Eats a spear for his troubles. Now look at this. There's been a fire that has been lit up inside of Big E. Now Jay back up on the apron. Now, Jay off the apron <laughs> goes Jay. And right now, Big E trying to hype up the crowd. Big E has just been a one-man wrecking crew right now. Now, Woods back up to the to the apron here. Now, tagging comes Woods. Whoa, Bulldog there. Oh, sorry, I was like mid-yawn there for a second. It's been a late night. But now Xavier Woods off the ropes in an insiguri there to the back of the neck. And oh, wait a second. I think I think Jimmy got out of the way of that. I think Yeah, he did. Jimmy got out of, out of the way of the insiguri. And Jimmy's been in this match for an awful long time. Now Jimmy missing with the super kick and a rolling elbow there by Xavier Woods and who takes out Jey Uso. If you're going to beat the Usos, this is the perfect spot to have them in. Flips Jimmy over his head. Usos might be in some trouble. Cover here for Woods. Is it enough? Pulls him away from the ropes. Two and no. So close to having new tag team champions. And a DET to Big E. Woods missing with that basement dropkick there. 
Jimmy able to get out of the way. And uh, look at this. What the hell is this? Oh my god. Plants Jey Uso around his neck. And a drop kick by Jimmy. And Jimmy just trying to make sure that Woods stays down, but Woods is not going to go away that easily. And a Samoan drop, this time to Xavier Woods. And a tag in for Jimmy. Or for Jay. I keep getting these two mixed up. They are twins after all, so it makes sense. And a drop kick there by Jay. And this time, another Samoan drop to Xavier Woods. This time by Jay. Both brothers. And uh oh, things are going to start breaking down here. And oh, wait a second. E takes care of business. But now, wait a second. Two on one situation here. But Big E fighting his heart out here. Gets rid of Jimmy in a super kick combination there. And now, oh, wait a second. That's Dolph Ziggler. What the hell is Dolph Ziggler doing out here? Jimmy taking exception to the advances of Ziggler here. No, wait a second. Ziggler. Ziggler with a super kick to Jimmy. Oh my god. A super kick to Jimmy. And I think it's just dawned on Jey Uso. What just happened? Jay's all alone. Jimmy's out from that super kick from Dolph Ziggler. Jay's all alone. Insiguri to Jay Uso. This is essentially a handicap match. This is all legal. Jay sent into the corner. Uso's tag team title run might be on life alert. And oh my god, a double stomp by Big E. Cover here. Is this the end? Two. We got new Raw Tag Team Champions. The Bloodline has taken a massive blow. And Roman Reigns cannot be happy about this. The New Day have shocked the world and are now your new Raw Tag Team Champions. Thanks to the help of Dolph Ziggler. Who I am sure definitely has the Tribal Chief's attention now. I tell you what, man, the road to SummerSlam this year has been absolutely insane, and it's only going to continue to get better because next week on Raw, Mommy is in the house, and she'll be taking on Cora Jade. And that's not all. Dolph Ziggler will be taking on Jordan Devlin in a rematch. Dolph Ziggler just cost the Usos, so you can imagine the Usos will have their eyes on that. And, of course, Brock Lesnar, after the words of Dijak, will be on Raw. Next week, Brock Lesnar will be in the house, and that's not all. Come SummerSlam, we just witnessed Dolph Ziggler cost the Usos the Raw Tag Team titles. This just became all the more personal to the Tribal Chief, who wants to end the career of Dolph Ziggler. And of course, we saw both of these men go to absolute war with their opponents tonight, proving that they will be taking things to the deep water come SummerSlam. For the United States Championship and just made official tonight, Alba Fire will be replacing Dakota Kai at SummerSlam when she goes one on one with Becky Lynch for the Women's World Championship. And I'm very much looking forward. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the GOAT. has arrived.
still hot, knock your shell off. My money stacked back, plus I can't turn the swell off. The franchise doing big business, I live this, it's automatic. I win this, so you hear those horns, you finish. A soldier, and I stay under you fighting. Plus I'm storming on you chumps like I'm thunder and lightning. Ain't no way you breaking me, kid. I'm harder than nails, plus I keep it on lock like I'm part of the jail. I'm slaughtering stale competition. I got the whole block wishing they could run with my division, but they gone fishing with no bait. Get your boy hold weight. I got my soul straight. I brush your mouth like cold gate. In any weather, I'm never better. Your boy's so hot, you never catch me in the next man's sweater. If they hate, let them hate. I drop your whole clan.